Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and this time I'm going to be reviewing this car right behind me. So this is the 2002 Nissan Skyline GTR. So this one that I'm going to be reviewing is only the base model, and it cost me a whopping $485,259, which is extremely overpriced. Like, the base model in real life only goes for... Uh, I, between 100 and 150,000 US. But this is only the base trim. There are other trims like the V-Spec Nürburgring, which drives pretty much the same as the base trim. Um, and there's also the Z-Tune, the Nismo Z-Tune, which is like $800,000. Actually, I think it's more like $850,000 in Greenville. Now, one did go for sale in 2016 for, um... 352,000 pounds. Now that's about 400,000 US dollars. So yeah, the R34 in Greenville is just so overpriced. So here's why. So as you might remember, when the Tesla Cybertruck came out, they made it two million dollars. And they did that because they knew that if it was the, the realistic price, everyone would buy it. And they eventually reduced it to about 450,000 I believe, but that is still way off. I'm pretty sure it's for the same reason, because this is just such a popular car, it's it's pretty overrated, I'm not even gonna lie here. People people worship this car, it's not, it's cool, but it's not like that cool. It's just such a popular car, and if it was only 100 grand, everyone would be driving it, but since the base trim is $485,000, a lot less people are gonna be able to buy it, so... Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to review this car to see if it is worth $485,000. So I'm going to start off with the looks. I, I think this is a really good looking car. It's a very simple design at the front, but it's very clean, it's very tidy, and it's, it's a very handsome car. I don't think the back is that good looking. This wing does make it look a lot better, um, and it is a pretty nice looking wing here. There's carbon fiber on it, and I think that looks great. And yeah, there, there isn't like that much on this car. It's not a very... It's not very busy from a design point of view, um, but yeah, everything just, like, it's it's very neat and tidy. And I do think it's a very, very good looking car. Um, now, I think the rims are really good. I know that not everyone likes these rims. As you can see here, there is carbon fiber, and I think that is really nice. Alright, so now I'm going to start this thing up. So, here's the startup on the R34 GTR. Okay, so that's a good startup, but it's not crazy or anything. But, I mean, this car is stock, so, you know, I'm not expecting anything crazy. Okay, so, I think this car does sound pretty good, and I love those turbo noises, like... Yeah! Yeah, I love those turbo noises. And I uh, hear the lights, so the headlights are super nice. Uh, really clean there. Hear the brights. Yeah, they are really bright. Uh, tail lights. Yeah, same thing, really clean. Uh, turn signals. And reverse light. The one reverse light there. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so this has a 276 horsepower straight six engine with a six speed manual transmission. And it's decently fast. I mean, okay, 276 horsepower, that is nothing crazy. So yeah, there's 70, there's 80, there's 90, there's 100. There's 110. We're pulling like 120 around this corner. This one's 30, this one 40. Yeah, so this car is decently fast. I've got to say, I really love those turbo noises. And here we go, in 3, 2, 1. And there's 60, so that was 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, which is actually pretty fast. Alright, so now let's do it from 0 to 100. So, here we go, TCS off, and... We're off. There's 40, there's 50, there's 60, there's 70, there's 80, there's 90, there's 100. So that was 0 to 100 in 9.62 seconds, which is pretty fast, um, but it's not, it's not like super crazy. Now let's try the top speed here. 
Yeah, this thing is four-wheel drive, so it launches pretty violently. Okay, there's 80, there's 90, there's 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, and there's 154. See, 154, that's like, that's nothing crazy or anything. Alright, so now I'm gonna test the brakes, so, uh, first I'm gonna do it from 60. And here we go. Okay, so that was 60 to 0 in 1.8 seconds. So, okay, the brakes aren't, like, that great, if I'm honest. Now here we go from 100. Here we go. So that was 100 to 0 in 2.97 seconds, which still isn't great. But I mean, this car is a bit older, so I can understand. Um, and uh, actually, I need to fill it up. So yeah. Okay, 70 bucks. So that's still a pretty big tank. All right, so now for the fun part, testing the handling. So, so this is all-wheel drive, and I think it's pretty light, so it should be good. Okay, here we go, around this corner. The brakes aren't the best, though. Okay, around this corner here. Okay, yeah, so far it's pretty good. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of grip. Like, look at this. I just do this. It is planted. All right, now with TCS off, here we go. And it literally makes no difference at all. No difference whatsoever. So yeah, the handling is nice. There is an infinite amount of grip. You're never going to slide this thing. Man, those brakes just aren't that strong, though. And yeah. Oh, that was a close one. So, for the handling, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, there is infinite grip. You are never going to slide this thing ever. Unless you pull the parking brake, obviously. But, yeah. So, is it worth $485,000? And... I'm gonna say no. I mean, I like this car. I think it's a very good looking car. I think it's a very fun car to drive. And if this car would be accurately priced in Greenville, um, then I'd say by all means, go for it. It's an R34, you know, it's a cool car. It's not worth $485,000. So yeah, don't spend your money on this unless you have a ton of cash lying around. So yeah, that was my review of the R34 GTR. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.